Tom Menzel was faced with the choice in 2009, throw away more than three million federally funded dollars or buy a hybrid bus that he was already nervous about. And the original intent was if the hybrid buses work, we would use them and bring them into the fleet because it was more fuel efficient, of course. But the bus that was purchased in 2010 and put on public display essentially became useless. We quickly realized that, not wanting to throw good money after bad, and went back and got the uh, permission to not order any of the additional five, but use those funds for immediate needs we had in the organization. 7 and 4 News did a story on the first beta hybrid bus in 2005. According to an interview with the beta director at the time, Joe DeConing, it was funded through some separate grant money and was meant to be a positive purchase. Um, talked to our congressional delegation there and said, what can you do to help us? And they came through. And um, we got the first round of grants to go ahead and build this prototype bus. I would say that it didn't really work great right out, right out of the box. Um, but we had somebody that kind of helped it limp along for a while. The 2010 bus was also a prototype and was never tested to make sure it ran correctly, but it was approved by the Federal Transportation Administration and the Michigan Department of Transportation. MDOT had this to say about the purchase. It allows companies to put out products, test them out in real-life public transit services, and then later down the line, if a company decides to purchase more buses, then they must have the bus model tested. DeConing had agreed to those terms in the original contract, something beta representatives today say should have been fixed then. I suppose in terms of laying blame, um, uh, probably uh, uh, not putting in the contract that it had to be Altoona tested before it even became a prototype in the marketplace uh, would be a critical error on, on management uh, of beta at that time back in early 2000.